It's no secret by now that generative AI like ChatGPT and Midjourney are completely disrupting the way business is done around the world. So today, I'm gonna to be pulling back the curtain on the 11 AI systems that top companies are using to get ahead of their competition and use generative AI technology to find a new position for them in the market hierarchy. And unlike most stuff in the AI space right now, this is not gonna be speculative hype rubbish. This is what's actually being sold successfully in our community right now to businesses who are looking to get ahead in the AI space. And of course, just quickly before we jump into things, if you are new to the channel and don't know who I am, my name is Liam Otley and I've been building and selling AI solutions and systems like the ones I'm gonna walk you through in this video for the past nearly two years through my own AI automation agency, Morningside AI. And on this channel, I help entrepreneurs and business owners to safely and successfully navigate the AI revolution. So to keep this video short and snappy, I'm just gonna be running over each of these quite quickly. But if you wanna get access to this complete 23 page breakdown of each of these and including examples of people in our community who are selling it successfully, then it's all gonna be available for free on my free school community, which is the first link in the description. So 100% free, you can go down there, you'll get accepted in a few minutes, then you'll be able to go on here and get access to 23 pages of breakdown of everything I'm covering here. So jumping into the first system here, we have AI enhanced lead magnets. So as you know, businesses need to generate leads and a typical way of doing that is with lead magnets. So you put up, you're running ads to a landing page where it says, hey, put your email in to get my free ebook on how to do X, Y, Z. Basically in a, an exchange of value where they give something that you want and you they get something back. So ebooks, free resources, anything. Um, it can be a form of lead magnets. And what AI is allowing businesses to do right now who are really smart and are on the cutting edge with this is to create AI enhanced lead magnets that take in a bunch of information about a, a prospect or a person that they run ads to. And when they come onto the landing page, instead of just giving them their name and email, they give, hey, here's a 10 question questionnaire and you're gonna get this personalized AI generated report that gives them a ton of value back. So on one side, they do have to put a bit more information in, but they are gonna get a much more valuable and, and tailored and personalized report afterwards. So it's gonna increase the opt-in rates and increase the effectiveness of the lead magnets. There's also the added benefit of in these cases where they're asking maybe a 10 or 20 question questionnaire in order to get this personalized outcome, you are getting a ton of super valuable data that can be used for qualification so that your sales team can follow up at a later date. So instead of just getting a name and email and then trying to guess what the person wants or who, who they are and what their interests are, they can tell you all of that information. You can take those answers and run it through a relatively basic LLM step on something like make.com. And within that prompt, you put all of your secret source in order to give them some kind of valuable output that they're actually willing to give up their information for. So there's two examples of this on this document of people in the community who are selling this to businesses right now. So if you wanna get a look at how they're doing it, again, it's a bit too much to cover in one video, but it's gonna be on the free school community if you wanna go through this document. There's two different people who are selling this to different industries on this document. The second AI system that businesses are adopting right now are mass phone outreach systems. So mass phone outreach is a key function in many businesses, whether you are trying to reactivate your database of leads or past customers, or whether you are trying to do things like fundraising. There are so many different reasons for businesses to need to send a lot of outbound phone calls in order to generate leads or to contact customers or to reactivate them what AI allows us to do and you'll see this is a pattern across all of these different systems is that it's doing the grunt work and the lowest part on the on the ladder basically of the the first touch or the mass outreach where humans can do it but it's not really effective where there's a low chance of success on it so when you send 100 cold calls you might get three to five of them that pick up that means 95 percent of that human effort is wasted and that human needs to be compensated in some way unless they're purely on commission so with AI AI phone systems, if you're not familiar with them and the current state of the technology, there's systems called outbound AI phone agents, where you can write a prompt basically for an AI agent and you can send outbound phone calls using various different technologies. And in fact, I've actually just posted a video on the 13 best AI voice solutions that are selling right now, which I'll put up here if you're interested in that. But these AI voice platforms allow you to send out these calls en masse to a list of leads or a list of numbers that you've collected for various purposes. And what's great about these kind of systems, as with anything else in the AI space really, is the scalability of it once you've got it up and running and once you've got it working. If you're a business owner, you'll likely want to get in touch with an AI automation agency. Easiest way to do that is within my free school community and just put a post out, say, hey, I'm looking for someone who can build one of these AI cold callers, but someone needs to optimize that prompt or that script over time. Once you've got it dialed in and it's working at a rate that you're happy with, the scaling up is just a case of feeding it more and more numbers. Whereas with a human team, you have to add more people to the team over time, which in terms of scalability is not ideal. On this document, I have four different real world examples of people in our community selling these mass phone outreach systems. So if you want to take a look at those and get in touch with them, you can get access to it on the school community. The next AI system that businesses are adopting right
right now to get ahead is phone customer support. So in the same way that you can send out outbound AI voice agents, like I just mentioned with this mass phone outreach, you can also build AI voice agents that can answer and, and act as a, a customer support representative. In most cases, that's gonna mean attaching it to a static phone line. So I create an AI voice agent, I attach it to a phone number, I put that phone number on my website or on my Google My Business page or wherever you need to put it in, your, in the footer of your emails where they can call up at any time, 24 seven availability and in any language as well and have the customer support questions answered by an AI voice agent. And of course you may be skeptical like, my customers wouldn't want to talk to an AI. They would never do that. They'd be able to tell, etc. But you need to keep in mind that a lot of these AI systems are more so trying to take most of the weight off or most of the burden off the human systems that are existing right now. So we're in the phase of AI augmentation of businesses rather than AI takeover. So it's not doing everything for you. If you set up an inbound AI voice agent system so that your customers could call a phone number, it might be able to handle 80 to 90% of the customer queries itself. But there's always going to be things that need to be escalated and passed off to a, a live agent. So that's the functionality you can build into it, but you've still eliminated 80 or 90% of the work and also made it 24 seven available to customers. They actually get a better customer experience because they get to pick up and there's always someone there ready to help, even if it's an AI initially. Getting into number four now, we have text-based customer support. So this is different from voice-based. It's a completely different system that you have to set up. Text-based customer support can be put on your website as a web chat widget. It can be put on WhatsApp where they can ask questions through a WhatsApp number. You can set them up on SMS numbers as well. These are by far the easiest ones to get set up initially the kind of the low-hanging fruit in the AI space right now text-based customer support was kind of the first thing that people started using this generative AI to solve but my own software Agentive is built around helping you to build these text-based agents for various purposes lead generation but customer support also so I'll pop a tutorial up here if you want to check that out and get one of these up and running for yourself but in general customer support I think you know enough about that I'm gonna have some examples here on this document I've got three different versions um, of these customer support chatbots that can be put on different platforms we have some interesting use cases on here like for Airbnb owners, for e-commerce store owners, etc. The next way businesses are getting ahead with AI right now is with AI personalized outreach. This is using your typical outreach channel. So you might be doing a cold DMing or you might be doing cold email. Any way that businesses are trying to reach out to a person and say, hey, would you be interested in my thing? When it comes to cutting through the noise and making sure that your message is heard and you have an effective cold outreach system, personalization is becoming more and more and more important. To be able to cut through the noise in an inbox, people are building AI powered cold outreach systems that can take this kind of data and write really high converting cold outreach messages for things like cold email and cold DMing on Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever platform you're using. Traditionally, personalization has only been restricted to like, hey, first name, but now with generative AI and LLMs, you can collect data from various different parts of their social profiles and use that to write a really high converting cold outreach message to them to consistently convert your cold prospects into booked meetings. And on this document, I've got two examples of people in our community who are selling this kind of AI powered cold outreach system. And we also break down the, the tools and how they're actually delivering this kind of solution. The next one is a not so exciting one, but nevertheless, an extremely important one for basically all businesses and that is information retrieval. So, so information retrieval is of course a fundamental need for businesses of all sizes across all industries. The larger a business gets, the more internal documentation they have just sitting around in drive folders and spread all over the business. What AI and generative AI systems can do very well is information retrieval that makes it much easier for employees to get answers from those documentation without having to dig through it. The, the typical information retrieval system that you can build for a business is to take all of that documentation, all of your SOPs and, and how people should do their jobs, put it into a knowledge base or a vector database, technically speaking, and then you can create a system that connects that database to an AI agent and your teams can ask questions to it and get near instantaneous answers to questions relating to your company. I've got three different examples of people in our community who are selling these kinds of information retrieval systems where you can ask questions to a large corpus of text and get answers very quickly and it's packaged in a way that you're selling it to businesses as an internal use tool. Now we have appointment setting, which is something that I'm specialized in and my team at Warningside AI are. So this is one that's very close to my heart and something that I've seen drive a, a measurable difference in businesses and even in my own with certain AI systems that do appointment setting. So it's such a crucial function to be doing appointment setting because it bridges the marketing efforts with the sales team and making sure that only the qualified prospects are actually getting on the call with the sales team that they can close. So you're not wasting their time, but it's also a very, very high volume task where there can be thousands and thousands of leads or or touch points that you get with people where you have to go and follow up and say, hey, are you actually interested in this thing? Would you be a good fit for it? And that requires a lot of manual human effort for most businesses right now, whether they're doing it on a per appointment basis or you're paying your appointment setters hourly and they're just smashing away in the DMs on Instagram or different platforms or they're on the phone dialing constantly to set, set appointments up. 
With AI, you can now do that via AI voice systems, um, outbound AI voice systems and inbound ones. You can also be doing it with text-based AI setters where you build an AI agent and connect it to something like, um, you can do it on Instagram, you can do it on WhatsApp, where the AI will be sending text uh, to them and be able to set an appointment over text channels like WhatsApp as well. One caveat about appointment setting that I've found from my own experience of building these systems is that the inbound setting is a lot easier for AI right now. It's, it's probably a no brainer, but when people are coming to you and saying like, hey, I'm interested in your business or they are maybe filling out an opt-in or they are applying to a store on Instagram, when they are coming to you and they're basically saying, hey, I'm interested, how can I claim your offer or how can I book a call? Then the AI can step in very easily and just go, hey, so are you, we've got a couple of questions for you here, bam, bam, bam. The AI can do the qualification and determine if they should be sent a booking link. If they are qualified, it sends a booking link and then they get booked on the calendar very easy. But the outbound appointment setting can be a bit more difficult where you're basically doing cold outreach to a certain degree of I'm reaching out to a person, I'm trying to build rapport. It can be very tricky for the AI to be skilled enough in conversation to be setting that. So if you're skeptical about appointment setting, then you have a right to be. I haven't really seen these outbound systems work that well, but I've seen from my own personal experience and from the things that we build at my own agency that the inbound setting where people are coming to you to some degree is a lot more easy because you're just funneling them in the right direction, which works great. In this document here, I've got three different examples of people in our community selling these kind of AI appointment setting systems. So you can check those out again on the free school community first link in the description to get this document. The next AI system that businesses are using to get ahead right now is another one of my personal favorites, which is what I'm pulling productized information and this is referring to the packaging of knowledge expertise or intellectual property into a standardized and scalable product that can be sold repeatedly so this kind of productized information system is particularly good for consultants or for coaches or for course creators because it allows you to take all of your information and put it into a, an AI system in this case you get an AI agent that's connected to a knowledge base and people can ask questions directly to that AI agent and it can give them information as if it was you. So either you're replicating yourself, which is what we call an AI persona. So I could create an AI persona of myself, an AI version of Liam. I could put all of my course material, I could put all of my YouTube videos into that. There's a little bit more to it than just stuffing it in there. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell you that right now, but it is possible to curate the information that you put into the knowledge base in such a way that when you combine that knowledge base with also a carefully crafted prompt that tells it how to use that knowledge and who how it's supposed to respond. You can create a scalable AI product or a chatbot or an agent in this case and make it available to people either by a, as like a free lead magnet or you can make it a part of a low ticket offer. Say for example, with my education business, I could take all of my uh, course material and I could put it into one of these productized information AI agents and make it a $20 or $30 a month subscription or something like that. And this is something we're seeing happen a lot now with coaches and consultants putting their information into one of these systems and using it as a low ticket offer or a, or a free lead magnet. There's many different ways of doing it and I, I really love this use case. As someone who used to do a lot of AI consulting, if I was still doing it, I definitely would have had one of these on my consulting website when I did it. On this document here, I've got two examples of people selling these kind of productized information solutions within our community. Our next AI system system is another one of my favorites. Um, this one gets me really, really excited is sales call analysis. And this really is under the umbrella of call analysis and transcript analysis as a whole. But I think I want to keep this a little bit more specific and really the most valuable use of that transcript analysis ability that AI has is sales call analysis. Now, um, sales is a critical function of most businesses directly driving sales. Like the guys who are doing sales are the ones who are closing the deals and moving the business forward and moving the needle. So the tracking and optimization of the sales team is by far one of the most important functions within a business. And for the sales manager, this is typically me meant having to listen to all the sales recordings and be tracking all these different stats themselves quite manually. But with transcript analysis abilities with generative AI right now, it's just a case of setting up your sales team to be using an AI uh, called Transcriber and connecting that with some basic automation steps to take that transcript analyze it for various properties and push that analysis to a database and then likely a dashboard for the sales manager to come in and take a look over each day so that they can get much more scalable and an easy access to the information of what's going on inside these sales calls. Once you've got the bones of one of these systems set up, you can then play around with what you tell the AI to analyze for. Okay, look for ums and ahs or, or let's look for certain objections that were picked up and, and how were the objections handled. There's so much you can do because you have complete control of what the AI is looking for. So it can be quite complex to set up if you really want to take it to the furthest extent that it can, 
But from a high level, it is a system that most businesses should be looking at to implement if you have a sales team because sales managers are already under the pump far too much. And as someone who has a sales team personally, the system that we've set up to do this has been invaluable to our sales manager and allowing him to get his head above water. And on this document here, I've got one example of someone in our community selling a system just like this. The next system we're covering is automated content repurposing. And as someone who is making content, I can tell you just how valuable these content repurposing systems are if you can set them up correctly. And what these systems are and what they do is it allows you as a business owner or myself as, as the content creator and business owner who uses content to drive sales and, and bring attention to my businesses. It allows me to focus on say one platform, in this case it would be YouTube, and then I can repurpose my YouTube content out to things like Twitter, to LinkedIn, to uh, school community, to any other platforms that I want to use or email is, is a great one, going from a YouTube video to an email newsletter, creating these automated content repurposing systems can be massively valuable for you as a business owner or for the business owners that you're selling to. And so every business owner knows on some level that they should be making content, but they don't have the time to do all of it. But there's very few cases where they're too busy to just do one well. You can set up a repurposing system that will take the video and transcript of say a video like this. As soon as I posted it, it can trigger and use a couple of AI steps that you've set up on something like make.com or some other workflow automation platform and repurpose the transcript into say a LinkedIn post or a bunch of tweets or something to put in my newsletter. You're already putting in the effort like I have for this video to really craft the content inside it and put a ton of value into it. You just want to keep squeezing that orange or lemon as long as you can so that you get as much value out of that as possible. So massively valuable and fairly straightforward to set up. It's just a case of prompt engineering and knowing how to get the right tone and style. So on this document here, I've got three different examples of people who are selling these AI repurposing or AI content creation systems. One of them is actually a SaaS that if you're interested in doing this for yourself or selling it as a service, this community member, Michael Katz, has built his own platform for you to do it. So again, that's available first link in the description on the school community, you can get this entire document. And finally, the last AI system that is helping businesses get an advantage in 2025 and beyond is AI enhanced recruitment. So recruitment is a critical function for businesses of all sizes. Businesses are built on people and you need to keep hiring people because people leave and you have talent requirements and you need to hire for new positions. It's just a constant hamster wheel when you get to a certain point and a certain size of a business that you need to be hiring and, and HR and recruitment is just a fundamental part of, of any business at a certain size. AI is transforming the recruitment landscape by offering things like automated resume screening and ranking, chatbots for initial candidate engagement and basic screening, AI powered video interviews with sentiment and speech analysis, predictive analysis for candidate success and job fit. There are so many different ways that you can apply generative AI to solving these HR and recruitment problems. The really obvious one is the initial screening of resumes and CVs. When you put out a post for a job and people apply to it, they're gonna send in, hey, I'm this person, I do this. You can take all of that information, you can scrape their LinkedIn, you can get as much text-based information as you can on that person, and you can use a basic, well-prompted LLM step and a workflow automation tool like make.com. And you can take this information, say, this is my criteria, we're looking for this, 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 and this. You can give it a shortlist or a yes or no um, output to determine if that person is gonna make the shortlist. And then you, as the HR manager or your own HR manager, can just go into the Airtable database or wherever you've sent that data and have a, a shortlist ready-made so that you don't have to go through all of those CVs manually. Another interesting use case that you'll actually see on this document here, as one of the examples I've provided, is to use AI voice agents as a way for them to have conversations back and forth and do those initial screening questions. So they can call up and say, hey, my name is this person, da 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 I'm applying for this role, okay, great. And then the AI voice agent will ask a whole set of questions based on whatever role that is. Then the transcript of that call will be taken and analyzed. And then again, the AI shortlisting process can be done to give you the recommended list to save your HR team the need to call up all those people themselves and it's also going to analyze them and shortlist them for you without having to do anything. As for examples for this AI recruitment space there are two here on this document so again that is all for these 11 systems I hope it's been pretty clear and interesting for you to see these different ways that AI is helping businesses right now in a really tangible and data driven way and I've given so many examples in this document it's over 20 pages long and also breaking down each of these functions really of businesses that AI can help with you can really do a deep dive in all of these if you're looking to stay ahead and be on the front foot with AI in 2025 and beyond. So this has been quite a long one. I've packed so, put so much work into this for you guys. If you could just please hit down below and leave a like and I don't know, leave a comment. Let me know if you've got any feedback or if you've got any other cool things that you've seen AI do for your business or other businesses in the space, drop them down below so that we can share that and, and get smarter together as a community. And of course, if you want to get access to the 20 plus page document for the 20th time, it's the first link in the description. You can join my free school community. It'll be on there, YouTube resources. Look for this video's title. Then you can pull it up and have it yourself and 
do whatever you want with it. There's also a link down below if you want to work with myself and my agency, Morningside AI, for any solutions like this. We're a specialist in appointment setters particularly and some others on here. If you're interested in watching my recent video that breaks down the top 13 AI voice solutions that are selling successfully in the market right now, you can check that out up here. It's an absolute banger. But aside from that, guys, that's all for the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.